everyone, welcome to Dave's Place. Dave's Place! Hello everyone, welcome to the newest show on Team Kickback, where you come to my place, hence the name Dave's Place. It'll fill up the Sunday slot, timetable will be explained at some date. So, here is my house, you saw it in the intro, here it is, pretty nice, um, take you around a quick tour, the back of it, uh, as the show actually progresses, it progresses, eh? progresses, I will actually show you, um, what's what, and what's actually going, what the show's going to happen. So, as it's the first week, kind of special, um, well, it doesn't seem very special, uh, to be honest. But, let's go inside, get a nice cuppa. Uh, chairs. Nice seat by the fire. Oh! Uh, uh, Lewis? Hello. What are you doing in my house? I got an invitation. You got... Oh! Those invitations! Oh, yes. um, they were for last year. No. Oh, well, bye then. Everyone else has already came and... No, 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 I've got, I've got an idea for you. Oh, okay. You can be part of my new show. <gasps> called Dave's <Yay>. Place. <gasps> yeah, can I do a celebration? Yeah, sure, go ahead. Um, cake! <laughs> Floating cake! My favourite. <laughs> so, let's begin with the first bit. Well, if you want, if you'd like to uh, take a sit down on this, these chairs now, I guess, since we've got these chairs. Let's have a nice talk with our first guest. Lewis, how are you? <laughs> That was meant to be dinner. Well, I'm not hungry. Yeah, that's better. Oh, that's way better. Lovely. Right, okay. So, how are you, Lewis? I'm fine. I'm doing great. You're doing well, good. not really, but okay. What? What's What's up? What's up? Everything. <laughs> well, I guess the, the, the sky, but I'm tish. It, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, this is awkward. Um, I say we go upstairs and do the sort of complicated biggest section. Yeah. So, if you'd like to follow me. Upstairs. Okay. Now. Okay, where are we going? Um, welcome to the, the wheel. Um, wheel. Yeah, you can't see anything on there. Doesn't look like <laughs> no. much of a wheel. No, there's nothing really on there, but there will be. There will be something on there. There's a, there's a boat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, that's in the next section, I guess. Um, okay. Okay. So, so what's this wheel slash black wall? Well, <laughs> the wheel will decide what we actually talk about in the section, whether it be a review, where we will review a game, talk about a game we've both played. Give it ratings, stuff like that, or a ramble where we'll we'll talk we'll talk something good about a good game, or a rant where we talk bad, a list where I will tell you a top something list, or you get to decide what we do since you're our guest. Wee. So let me just uh, zoom into the wheel and see what we're actually doing. So there's just oh you don't get in the way. <laughs> okay, <laughs> the wheel is spinning apparently. And, um, I, I can't actually see what's happening. It's a review, I think. <laughs> it's a it's review. All... We're doing a review, Lewis. Yay. So About what? I don't know. Well then, you tell me what. What game have Yo, you been playing recently? Yeah, I'm a one-eyed I've freak. I've been playing DayZ, I've been playing Armour, I've been What's the big, what's the latest big game you've been playing? <sighs> Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, that's the game we've both played. Let's review Watch Dogs. And I've completed. Shut up, let's go okay. downstairs. <laughs> Let us go downstairs and I will take you to the actual seat where we will actually talk. Not here, you can have a last bit of cake if you want. Um, doors won't open. Uh, it's getting a bit... Oh, it's going to sunset. Um, yeah. Sunset lollipop. Yeah, indeed. Sunshine and lollipop. Wait, no, are we in the sky? <gasps> uh, yes, these are all floating islands. And you, there's a mini game on almost all the islands. So I'll sh... We, you, 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 you get to play the mini games afterwards. Uh. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you'd like to... Um, where's the seat? I'll give oh, you boost. I've, I've gone the wrong way round. I've, go, I've gone the wrong way. Ow! Gone. We've gone the boost wrong you. way. Uh, yeah. Running. We've gone oh. the wrong way. Here's the seat. Just outside. Get a nice view if you want. Come and take a seat. And um, yeah, seating. Um, seating I guess, seat. Okay. Yeah, this is the seating seat where we will sit and talk about this subject. Hey, do you like this thingy? What thingy? Like the sunset and stuff. It's very nice. Should I change it? No. 
So, uh, let us transition into the actual game and we'll talk about it. Yay! <laughs> What's up? What's okay, so, Watch Dogs. Let's get a initial review. Would you say it's good, a good game, a bad game? What would you say? One adjective to describe the game. I would say it's good. It's a good game. I, I would say it's a good game. I would agree it's a good game. Maybe not the best game of all time. It could be improved. There are many ways it could be better. So, um, yeah. I don't know how to actually review. I've never actually reviewed a game properly. So... <laughs> well, first, let's talk about Have you played the game? I have played it. Uh, you've obviously... And how was your experience? I very much so actually enjoyed playing it. It's a lot of fun messing around and, you know... Hacking. Learning things about people, like finding out this guy, if this one person is this, or this person has this, and then finding all that... out this person like to really frequently download porn. All stuff like Which, that. It's it's weird, but I found I, it, I I found the funny side of it being a joke. Hmm. So, and I also like stealing people's money out of ATMs. Yep. It's a lot of fun <laughs> to take their money. If I could ever do that, I'd be so rich. I know we would be rich. We wouldn't need to do a YouTube channel because we'd be rich. But, uh, <laughs> we don't do it for money. But, <laughs> but always doing it. No. Um, so, yeah. Watch dogs. Let's talk about some of the mechanics of the game. Hacking! Obviously, the <laughs> core mechanic of the game is hacking. And you can do all sorts of stuff like with it. Like, messing with massive stuff. And stuff. Stuff and, and stuff. Yeah, you can mess with traffic lights and stuff like that, and it's a whole lot of fun. A whole lot of fun. So, yeah. Yeah. You can mess with, like, steam pipes in the ground. I also like the like idea. That. There's three general ways to play this game. Shooting, stealth, yeah. hacking. Which is, obviously, a lot of fun. So, I'm actually going to read. Um, I know this is sort of like, you know, it's my show, but... We need inspiration because this is our first time ever doing a sort of big review thing. So, Watch Dogs is exactly what you actually think it is. It's a combination of Assassin's Creed uh, meets GTA V because it's a massive open world city. Also adding in aspects from like combat, like all the stealth mechanics, from like Splinter Cell and stuff like that. I believe it's Ubisoft's answer to Rockstar's GTA. Because if you if you actually remember what GTA was, it was a com in mo in my eyes at least it was a combination of all of Rockstar's games. You had the random side events from Red Dead Redemption, obviously GTA, GTA, yeah, and, and GTA. you had um, the like special abilities from like Max Payne. So it was sort of a combination yeah, of all their games. Yeah, the focus mode. And it's similar with Watch Dogs. You got Assassin's Creed, where it's all like running around, parkour stuff like that. But does it match, does it beat any of those games, any of its predecessors? And no. I would definitely say some of, some of the Assassin's Creed games would be better. Or if you wanted a real stealth experience, go play a Splinter Cell game. Don't just... Yeah, I think one of the best stealth that it would be Splinter Cell. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it the whole idea It felt like you it. knew what you were doing. Yeah. So, now let's go on to the plot. So what is the plot, Lewis, since you've actually completed the game? Don't give any spoilers. What's the main plot? The plot would literally be to find out who killed your niece. It's all about revenge. It's the Ubisoft way. Revenge. It's just, if you've not... No, Lewis. Wait, well, it looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it, it's all about <laughs> revenge. Assassin's Creed 2, revenge. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, revenge. Uh, Splinter Cell, revenge. Ubisoft always go with revenge. Same as Far Cry 3. Revenge. So, yeah. And it's all about, he's like this, he, his, Aiden Pierce, who's the main character, is the vigilante. He's... He's the vigilante, and only, like, two people know. He really is. I, I just want to give right, some really game right. You have, the, uh, it's, uh, it's Chicago, isn't it? It is Chicago. Chicago, controlled by one thing, CTOS. And yeah. CTOS... Is a hacker's dream. Aiden and his friend managed to hack the CTOS into CTOS, which is so basically control... the security of everywhere. 
where you've always yeah. got cameras sneak up on people's lives. That's you know details. That's you know bank accounts. See, stuff you, like get, that. you get CTOS that goes. Don't worry, we. We we keep everyone's personal details, and you can go around the game and you find CTOS spying on people. Yeah, it's dis it's disturbed. so. I just want to get pro basically you are trying to find the killer of your niece, but in the meantime you need to protect your nephew and your sister. sister? It's all, yeah, it's a sister, and it, it they turns have into a massive. No, they turns have into no a idea mess. who you are. And you are trying your hardest just to give what's good for them. And trying to help them. Give and them trying to help. So, um, let's talk about the looks, the graphics. It looks very beautiful. When I played, when me, me and Dave, I played, or we both played, and we'd be in the same Skype call, and it o looks other products really nice. usable, other products usable. Yeah, you can and use like TeamSpeak or whatever. Else. I said to David... I love the game and it's raining because that's yeah. what brings it, but out... But it the really game. does look best when it's raining. It just looks really nice. Um, the daytime looks a bit... Eh, could be improved. I mean, daytime... I'm not going to say daytime is terrible. I'm just going to say I liked it when it was raining. It just... Nighttime and rain, it just brings out that... Oh, I like this game. But apart from that, the graphics were downgraded. If you remember back at yeah. E3, or the graphics of E3, 2012 looked E3 trailer. beautiful. It looked amazing. It looked on par, well, no, higher than GTA sort of graphics. It looked really cool. But then they had to downgrade it for some reason, and... Well... If as, I was you, don't buy it. If, you, yeah, he play, he well, played it on Xbox. He played yeah, it on I played console. It, right, right. I'll give you, I'll give you, if anyone's willing to play it. Get, if you own a console, get it on a console. I recommend get it on a console because PC reasons. it's too much hassle. Yeah, you've got Uplay, which I'm not even going to go into. That will no, save well, for no, a rant like, video. Uplay is just. Yeah, I'm gonna save. Uplay I even have for problems with it on Xbox. Yeah, it's a massive mess, and I have a sort of I'd say a medium like a medium high spec PC. Meaning, you know, it, it runs pretty well, but, you know, improvements are always needed. And, um, it isn't, it, it's hard to run. It doesn't run very well on PC. Um, I have to run it on middle, medium graphics. Me middle? Middle graphics. Medium graphics, and it's not a whole lot of fun. It's still a really good game, but also the controls. I, I like the PC controls, but you may be more accustomed to third-person games on console. It's up to you, whatever else. Well, me myself, I I I don't mind what's in my hand, PC or controller, just as long as I can play the game. Other people go, Oh, I only like PC could be what the keyboard keyboard and mouse people are, oh I only like controller. I don't care what's in my Le hand. Lewis basically sits on the fence. Um Yeah. So I it's got, sit in <laughs> Of, I don't really care like what console it is on, just as long as I enjoy it. So let's go on to the next bit. Be multiplayer. So what sort of multi? There's like like a couple multiplayer game modes. There's multiplayer, and then there's the hack and tell. That's still technically multiplayer. So let's start with the hacking invasion because that's probably the best multiplayer. Can mode I explain this? On it. I want to explain it. Okay, okay, you explain it. So basically, it's where other online players will will hack into your in game. In your facility? Actually, no, because I've I've hacked someone from across the map. Yeah, you can hack people's games, and you basically have to get intel from them, and get their data, while they have to try and find you, and it, it'll pop out of nowhere almost. Basically, okay. what happens is okay, that a little purple square gets put on your map. The hacker, for the hacker to be able to hack you, he has to be in that square. And you have to be in that square to find the hacker, because the hacker has to be in that square to hack you. The hacker will be in that square, you have to find someone, and you can use your identifier to detect Profiler. who it and is. You, you have Profiler. to find who it is. And, and he will say, on a normal civilian, not hacker. And so on and so forth. And as you get the right person, I'll say, this is the hacker, kill him. And then that person has to escape. And Here we go, this you is get the hacker. And the then hacker won't get notified or anything until you pull out a gun. And this is all implemented into the single player game. Which is incredible. For it's some really people clever. it's annoying because you're about to start a mission and goes, you're getting hacked. 
See, he doesn't do mind. that though, because no, because um the way I play it, I I get a notification that's like, do you want to get? Do hacked? you want to be hacked? I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> and yeah, that's nice. I like that. But you can turn it off and stuff, stuff like that. And um, if you're playing in a multiplayer game, you are still dressed as the main character. You're everyone still the main character, just... everyone else is an NPC. But in so their you screen... you could be an old granny kicking ass. You could be an old granny running around with a shotgun. Singing, oh, my lord! Yeah, you could be that. Or you could be, um, I don't know, a fat man who loves porn yeah. running around shooting people. But generally... It's your... It's not your decision, you don't get to choose. No, but, you, um, you... yeah. So have you, you ever... Uh... <laughs> you... <laughs> Which is going to be so much trouble. Go Let's on, speak. In, on your game, you're Maiden Pierce. On their game, they're Maiden Pierce, but on your game, they're a random person picked out of the public. So, yeah. So, uh, the other multiplayer game modes are like the CTOS Mobile Challenge, where you can play with a mobile player. I haven't Which played it. Have. It hasn't worked for me. I haven't played it yet. I've got the app, but I've never used it. I've never played it. So, next, the decryption one, I haven't played that either, because um, I couldn't get into a game. I know what we could talk about. Wait. Digital Yes, I was about to go on to the next. These side things that aren't implemented into the single player main story. Lewis, would you like to start with your favourite digital Spider trip? Tank! The Spider Tank. The Spider Tank is really, really fun because you get to run around as a massive robot tank destroying everything. You get um, an unlimited minigun and a certain amount of ammo, rocket launcher, and you can go around the city jumping... And you and have to complete you can, things and stuff. Of course, the game has skill points, so it'd be, like, one of the ones is when you jump, if you click... I don't even know what control it is on PC, but for Xbox it was X. And you click it, and you would just open up, and you would dive, and it would blow up. And then if you're on the ground and you click X, you'll just smack them with your tentacles. I mean, legs. Yeah. And I even, on the first try of that game, I fell in love... And I played it until I got the outfit, which I find good. You can actually get outfits from the mini games. Yeah. So we'll go on to the outfits now. The outfits give like buffs and stuff like faster hacking, faster vehicles, better maneuvers, better aim, better stealth, stuff like that. But you know, my, I have two favorite digital trips because I've done two of them. Obviously, done, Spider Tank's a lot of fun. I've done Alone. Now Alone is really creepy because it's still implemented with the like robot stuff, but it's all dark. Everything's all dark and creepy, and you have to, it's all about stealth. You don't have any guns or anything, it's all about the stealth, and it's all creepy, and a lot of fun. It's really suspenseful. Um, yeah. Another one is Psychedelic, which is just mad fun. Oh, is that the drug one? That's, that's the drug one, it's just funny. <laughs> um, I'll, there'll be footage going on in the background, but it's a lot of fun. So, um, I the guess... The one I want to talk about, I can't actually talk about. Why can't you talk about it, Louis? Because you can't get a footage of it. I want to talk about Conspiracy, the DLC one. When I first saw it, me and David, well, I got on to David, I went, holy crap, I'm adding robots slash zombies into... Yeah, and we and were me like, and David what? wasn't very happy. No, it, it sounded stupid, because I've been waiting for, I was waiting for Watch Dogs for <coughs> almost a year, maybe two and it was like, oh, I can't wait for this game. And then they were, and they were like, it was like, I thought it would be extremely realistic. I could walk around doing this and pretend to be this Aiden Pierce character. But then it came up to this. I was like, what? Oh, yeah. Robot zombies? What? And it was weird. And um, I wasn't a fan. And then Lewis? Basically, with the season pass, he says, oh, play as T-Bone. Yeah, T Bone. I can't play as T Bone. I own the season pass, but I don't have anything goes Oh hey, you know you can play as T Bone, it doesn't say anything I don't have a costume designed for T Bone or anything. And I'm just like, well then well how am I gonna play as him? So there's one and complaint. It, it annoyed me because I like T Bone, even though we kind of, you know, spoiler alert that I'm not gonna say. Good, because I haven't played it yet. I need to finish it. But, yeah. Yes. Haven't you met T-Bone yet? No, I haven't got that far yet. I've just got the massive underground facility. Um, Bunker. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. no spoilers! Yeah. <laughs> the beep, beep, beep. The beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> okay, beep. so, let's just summarise this up. At a glance. Well, uh, okay, pros and cons. Oh, okay. 
I had a pros and David, cons system. Watch going. dogs. What would you say? Good, bad, or I would say or excellent. It's or... a. I wouldn't say excellent. I'd say it's a great game. I mean, it's not the greatest game of all time, but it's pretty good. You know, I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to play. Um, it's fun just to run around messing up people's days with traffic. No, I, I, I don't Best know. bit about the game: messing with fucking traffic. Okay. Lewis, what would you say about the game? Since you're, I guess, you are the most important person here, except for me, because you're in my house, and I don't know why you were in there. You mean island? Well, no, because um, it's a long story. I'll put a backstory video of how I actually got this place. It's a I would story. say the game is a very good game that could improve a little bit of things. So, let's go. But generally, to, yeah. I would say it's a good game. Yeah, let's go to uh, beach, the beach. Pro pros and cons. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to the, no, let's go to the cons, pros and cons. So pros, the hacking system is a lot of fun, enjoyable. The, um, non-story stuff, side missions, digital trips, fun, just messing around with people's days. And the multiplayer is clever, especially the invasion system. Very cool. Let's explain all the others, we? No, we couldn't really describe decryption because I've never done it. Well, can I just explain decryption? So, go ahead, go ahead. Basically, there's a what you call it. There's um, a file, and you get punched in with a bunch of players. You have the file, and whoever has it for um, the longest will be given like an award for mm -hmm. like your team. And um, really, it's like you had this, and the enemy had to get near you, and then they can hack it and control. And you've got to get in a car, drive really far away, and there's so imagine you'll be driving with the intel and your teammates will be in a car stopping the enemy from chasing you. That's basically what decryption is. It's, it's pretty good. So, uh, the cons. It's it's kind of a generic Ubisoft story. Someone's died. It's all about revenge. Revenge, <laughs> yeah. revenge, revenge. Yep, yeah, Ubisoft story. Someone died. There yeah. you go. Someone yeah, died. Ubisoft revenge. Story. Finished. And also a lot of the tailing and chase missions. Um, get a bit I, boring I never after a while. That. I never like that. They get boring after creep. a while. And <laughs> they might be doing it Yeah, once. they make you do it again if you fail. Yeah. So, if we had a star system out of five, what would you give it? I'd give it a four. I would also give it a four. I would say that's a very good rating. So, Lewis, um, come back to the seating seat. You've got out your seat. Get back into your seat, Lewis. And... We're gonna go back No Okay, whoa, um yeah. Well that was a nice conversation, eh? Yeah, I liked it. Nice conversation. So, um let's go back inside. It's a bit dark, let's go inside and let's go get a sleep. Let's go get a nice sleep. You can choose one bed, I'll choose the other. You get a nice sleep. Are you gonna go over there? Oh no, it's two bits, okay. Yeah. Good night. Good night, Mr. Tom. Na na na. I mean, Mr. Dave. Mr. Dave. Um. Okay. Yeah, you you kind of get sent outside. Uh, so you can actually walk out oh, the window oh, in the hell. morning. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Still fall out every morning. Really you, painful. You hungry? Uh, no. Let's go have some cake anyway. Uh, well, I was gonna say I got some steak. No, I want cake. Steak. I got some steak and steak pie. So. I guess there's one sort of last thing to do before we have our last big conversation. If you would what like is, to, what if is you would like to come outside with me, Lewis. You will, you've probably seen this board out here. The no, mini I'm game. This, it, is, it, 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 this is the mini game board. There's four mini games at the moment, while you can play and take part in. You can choose one. Uh, yeah, and then you can also give a suggestion for one at the end if you want. So we've got Sniper Battle, which will be between me and you, and we will try to shoot each other. Uh, there's a point system, I'll also explain it when we get there. Parkour Race is what kind of... It's a time trial, see how fast you can get across a parkour course. Jumpy Square Game, uh, that's sort of a surprise I know, one. I know Jumpy Square Game. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that game. meant to be four players, though? We've... <laughs> we're going to have to do it with two, because we don't have four people here. But we can do it with two players. Um... It's sort of like a survival sort of thing, and whoever wins. Basically, oh, okay. bunch of squares. Yes. You'll you find out. And pirate parade, which is a mob battle. Technically, you'll be on. Do you have a boat earlier that you saw? Yeah. We'll be on that boat. You'll be on that boat. I will be spawning mobs upon you, and you can see how long you survive with only a sword. Hmm. Huh. 
Can I, can I say what we want? Can, I, can, can I say one? Can we do sniper battle? We can do sniper battle. I want to do sniper so, battle. So, I need to find out which way sniper battle is. Is it left or right? I don't Jonas. know. It is Let's right this way. No, it's this way. Follow me. It's up what? there. Right there. So this is actually an idea I got from a video, like it inspired by a video that was uploaded a very long time ago. Not by us, by one of my favorite YouTubers. So you oh, want to go in that one? Is it by you know? I don't like, know. Like um, C U B E D. Yeah, it is. Uh, I saw this. I was like, this would be a cool challenge to do. Wasn't we meant to be farther away from each other? Not this time, because um, if you've noticed the big board, that's an indication of points as well. So you can earn points by hitting those if you dare hit that now you will get disqualified a point and you won't get a point you can shoot me if you like oh yeah there you go um, <laughs> you disqualified <laughs> you are disqualified for hitting the judge so black means you get an extra one point white two red three you get an extra point so, if you kill the other person you get five points and we'll do this three times first so if i kill you i get five if i hit that I get... If you hit black, you get one point. If I hit white, I get... So, basically, it's, it's a decision of do you want to hit the board or hit your enemy. So... How much do I get for bullseye? Uh, three. And then I get five for killing you. So, okay. yeah. Here's the leaderboard as well. Uh, there's no one on the leaderboard yet, but you'll be added to the leaderboard to see how many points you can earn up by the end of um, when one of us has died three, mo three times. Get out of creative mode. Just test I just want to... No. Wanna, just, no. Just wanna... Just one. Don't step. mess up my game. <laughs> okay. That's not. <laughs> right, you ready? Going, I can... Okay. Well, three, two, one. Begin the sniper battle. Ow. Stop. You can't do that. Ow. Stop. Stop. I have. Oh no! Get off of me! Already. I've died already. Ow. <laughs> I'm just gonna now. keep on hitting the red one now. No, you can't do that. Oh. We're gonna start again now. <laughs> right. I'll clean up arrows. You. Ow. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> look, look, I got, I got it in the thing. You know. I hate you. Hey, do you want your bow back? <laughs> what I'm going to do, right, is I'm going to collect all this up and we're going to do this again and I will tell you. I probably didn't explain the rules properly or something. You said to shoot you, so. Yeah, but. <laughs> it's but, quite simple to shoot at you. Yeah, I need to just sort of sort it all out. Do you want your arrow, bow and arrows? Have you got all your arrows? Well, 53 still? arrows. I don't think I'm going to need any more. Oh, there you go. I have another 64. There you go. Um, right. So. Once the person is dead, you can't gain any more points until they get back. Okay? Okay. Alright, begin sniper battle. Da, 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 wait, no, wait, oh! Oh, there you oh. go. I was just saying, I just hit you and like nothing happened. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I made you out of clay. Oh no, I'm ow. Clay, no, I'm not even Jewish. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, already? <laughs> right. Okay, I'm coming back. Um, I sort of spawned on the roof. No, you can't do that. <laughs> what use? Have you taken all my arrows? Oh, some more there. You're taking all my arrows! Don't you dare shoot me. There's more there. No, I, will, I will stab you if you shoot me. Where's my bow gone? Is it still up I, there? I don't actually know. Give me my bow back. Oh, I haven't been over there. Where's my bow gone? Is it for... Oh, fell off the map. I got it. <laughs> there it is. Right. <laughs> it falls off the map. Can <laughs> you get back over there for snap from... This... Right, so you've got five... Well, have you got any points up there? You got... No, you got five, because... No. Begin sniper battle. Shut up. Oh, I can't see. Haha! -ha! No! Ow. Hit the red one. Haha, hit the red one. Ow. Pro Archer Lewis! No. Pro Archer Lewis! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You've won, like, all, already 10 points. I, I hit, it. no, I, no, 13. Well, I don't know. I haven't seen how many times you've hit the red. I hit we, the red count that up, we, we count that at the end, Lewis. Not I hit now. it once, and then I hit you and killed you. It doesn't count at the moment. Ow! And you should, let um, me get back <laughs> to my I have, position. I have a bow. Yeah, 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 you just threw it. You just threw it. God. I'll right. give you a free hit to start right, off okay. with. Okay, begin sniper battle. There you go. Yeah. I've shot up there like three times now. That's at least nine points already. Ow. I'm gonna shoot the red one. Shoot the red one. You can't shoot. get off the steps oh. as well. <laughs> oh, you pushed me down. Not fair. Yeah, I know I did. Ow. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. No! Oh. Die! Oh. No, don't you oh. dare kill me! Oh. Don't you. No! <laughs> Well, left. well, I'm gonna run back and we will count up. I'm gonna go into creative mode now. We will I'm count up. 
<laughs> so, Hello. obviously you've got 15 already. Add <laughs> 1, 2, 3, oh, 9. 15 add 9 no. is what? Hi. <laughs> 15 add 9 is... Oh, Jesus. That's but me. That's I'm, I'm crap at maths. 24. So you got 24 points, and I got um, 9. So, Lewis is our first victor. Uh -huh. So we'll put uh, Lewis on the board. Uh, Lewis with um, 24 points. So oh, Lewis won with 24 points. Well done, Lewis. Yay. Now, um, for the final time, let's go back and we'll have a nice little chat. Have a cup of tea and I'll uh, I'll send you off. Okay. So, can uh, I suggest how I get sent off? Go on then. Well, I'll tell you when we get there. Come on. Oh, no. Can I just want to no, just get, come on, walk. Don't, don't you dare start flying on my ass. <laughs> walk. Wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. No, walk. Just don't, don't turn into some fucking ghost. I just there. come out to this. Okay. Hi. Hi. So, let's have a nice, what, how would you? Just, just talk. What, what do you think about, um, Dave's place? What, what do, you, do you like the place? I think it's a nice, fun place. I built it myself. Uh, oh, no, I know. I I enjoy. I admire your work. What? What? How was your experience on the show? And what would you it, say to? I I enjoyed it. I recommend it to anyone out there. Okay, thank you. Uh, would you give any suggestions on how to make the show better? It just helps for the future. Try not to put in on other people's conversations. <laughs> okay. Quite a lot. <laughs> We've done that a bit. Right. So, Lewis, thank you very much for being on the show. Uh. If you want to see Lewis back on again, just leave a note or whatever else. And uh, can I do my send off? You can go home now, Lou. Um, can you? Can you give me? Oh, notes? you want to push? Goodbye, Lewis. Goodbye. Have a nice fall. Bye. Oh God, I thought I'd fall down with you. No! I'm going, buddy. No! I, 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 I fell down <laughs> myself. Wee. Sweet home, Alabama. Yeah, that, Lewis has gone home. Thank you. Very much for watching Dave's Place. If you want to visit Dave's Place yourself, leave comments below and I will contact you if we believe you deserve to be in... I'm back, baby! Get out of my house! Let me just go, bye. See you later. <laughs> if you think you deserve this chance to be on Dave's Place, leave a comment down below and I will, you know, contact you about the details and stuff. Thank you all very much for watching. Thank you, Lewis, for being... Today's special, well, this week's special. I can't hear you, Dave. I'm too far down. Thanks for watching.